You are now tuned in to Not Without Alonzo. So Alonzo. Yes, sir. They censored Louis Farrakhan and Alex Jones. Wow. Well, you know what, man? I just find it amazing that they send uh, they censor Farrakhan. Okay? Now, I know Farrakhan has said some things in the past that may be considered anti-Semitic. But I never really heard him say anything that was really hardcore anti-Semitic. But being that there is a level of sensitivity in that community that is beyond understanding, you can't say nothing good or bad. Okay, it's like, it's like keep, 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 keep it out your mouth. Keep it, the J folks. Okay, keep, keep it out your mouth. Keep it out your mouth. Don't even go there with us. Okay, I'm good or bad. As much as uh, I think it was Jay Z said something, the Jews run the industry. Uh, 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 nope, can't say that. You know, uh, LeBron says I want my money to grow, grow like the Jewish something or another. Uh, 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 you know, and I'm like, damn. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson he's man. They, they they made him go in and redo his whole album. Okay, they made him go out and do his. Re- hey, 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 hey. We not in that. Don't put us in that. I don't care. You know, because he said something. Kite me, you kick me, kite me, don't, don't really like me. Like okay, so yeah, some shit like that. And up until then, here's the crazy part. I never knew there was a, I never knew there was a derogatory word for the Jewish community. I never knew. And you know, and you don't hear that word. Well, you know, it depends on what part of town you roll in, and I, you know, we're not gonna stay on that too long. Okay. Move on. We're gonna move away from that. Okay. I'm just saying, it just. Um, you know, I, I've never seen the Nation of Islam drag anybody. I've never seen them, you know, hung, hang anybody or do anything aggressive, okay? They showed some organ, organization. They showed restraint. They showed, I ain't taking no shit, okay? Now, if, that's, if being pro-black is make you anti-anybody else, that's not cool, okay? If you pro, if I'm pro-me. I'm not anti you. I'm just pro me. That, that's anybody, okay? That's anybody. Anybody in their right mind is always going to be pro me, okay? Only person, individual that may not be pro me is a mother or a father. You know, you will, you will, you know, you you be you you, you are pro your children in most cases than you are yourself. A mother will feed her children before she feed herself. Dad will feed his family before he feeds himself. Okay, that makes him pro family, pro children. But that don't make you anti me. Okay, I don't mean I don't hate myself because I'm I gotta feed. I want to feed my kids first. That's just what my my superior love is. So you know, it's just amazing, man. That you know that uh, I'm trying to turn this phone off. I know somebody gonna call me. I'm just gonna turn the damn thing off. Okay, I just turn it off. That's all. So. You know, we talked about this. Me and my boys talked about this, man. I'm thinking that one facet is so aggressive and is so it's such an adjutant to the community, and they almost had to find somebody to counter that. Well, we did, you know, you, we, we're going to do Alex Jones. Well, who else? You, we going to do Farrakhan? Ah, we got to do Farrakhan. Okay, I don't think it was something that he did that, you know, lately, because I've heard, uh, I, I kind of follow his... His, his conversation, follow his conversation, I follow his speeches, and he gets angry, and he gets upset, but rightfully so, okay, I mean, at some point in time, people get tired of getting fucked over, bottom line, and, and that's just, and then when you, and when some of the, some of the, uh, the uh, groups that I belong to on Facebook, when you see cops constantly doing people, black people fucked up all the time, it's very frustrating, okay, uh, yeah, he talks about the, the, the possibility of people um, uh, acting out, okay? He's not saying do that. He's just saying, hey, man, y'all keep doing this. You're going to push it. You're going to push the button one of these days. You keep on poking around. You're going to find the right button, and we're going to have a problem that nobody really wants. But it seems like because, you know, that's scary. That's scary. Yeah, okay. That's scary. Okay. And, you know, and that's the part that um, nobody wants to really deal with, okay? If, 
you know, I, especially when you're dealing with police, you know, I, as a young man, me and the police were not friends. Although I have friends that are police. I have family that's police. But when you're a young black man in, in the hood, okay, um, you find yourself at the discretion of these cats on a regular basis. We had a rule, man, back in the day, we would dare not ride four deep anywhere. With, with, I had three cousins we rolled with. Somebody had to stay home. Because if you roll four deep, guaranteed getting pulled over. Guaranteed handcuffs, hands on the car, the hot ass car, palms, not just fingertips, want your palms on that hot ass car while they dismantle your car right there in the street. They, they, I had a, I was half ass low rider and they would take my car, man, just take it apart, dude. So I, I take this back seat out on the curb, on my cassette, on my Eight tracks dumped out. They no cassettes. Eight tracks dumped out on the ground. Spare tire, bumper, you know, bumper, um, spare tire, bumper jacks. Back then we had bumper jacks. We didn't have, you don't have the crank. We had bumper jacks. I it took me twenty minutes to put my car back together, man. The air, the um, they all in the uh, where the carburetor is, the uh, where the air filter is and stuff. Man, just, 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 you know, don't find. It never found nothing. But just because you black and you, what you gonna do? Okay. And when I got to even after dark, man, I know um, it was a situation with me and some cops that um, could have got very hairy at one point in time, and I just refused to go there with him. He tried to take me there, but I couldn't go there because we in an alley, okay? We in an alley, and you got a, a whole utility belt full of shit. I, dude, I got, I, I got, you know, I, I, I did read, was it uh, Sinsu, The Art of War? Okay, you, you, no one to walk your, no one to shut your ass up. You can't win this argument, this fight. Don't fight. Okay, don't fight. Okay, learn to retreat. Okay, and that's why I can sit and talk about this today with all my teeth and all my faculties because he didn't like me. Okay, and I wasn't no fan of this motherfucker either. But when you got people, when you got people that's supposed to, as hired to protect the community, they're f trying to try to find justification. To harass people. Now, that's when the shit gets irritating. Because when you pull up, and, 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 and I've had, I've had young cops pull my old ass over, and with an with an attitude, I'm like, dude, are you serious? You know, man, I'm then I was into my like 50 years old. I'm 50 some years old, man. Don't let this just for men fool you, okay? I'm not getting on that goddamn curb. Call the supervisor, man. I ain't done nothing. Call the supervisor. Okay, call the supervisor, please. Okay, because I'm not doing the curb thing, man. I'm too old for that. You want to give me a ticket, but you want me to get out of my car and sit on the curb. I ain't doing that. Okay, tell me why I got no, man. Man, I, I, I remember when I left the club, I was coming home, and I used to come from uh, from, from off of Vermont. I, I had a, uh, one of my employees I drop off, and uh, I'm coming through the hood like I always do, a bud long, down 122nd, and they got behind me. And they followed me home with no lights, no nothing. They followed me all the way to my driveway, okay? I backed up, got in my driveway. In front of my house, right there, right now. What we doing this thing right now? Ain't gonna tell me, come here, man. Fuck you, I'm going in the house. Fuck you, no. Ain't. What do you mean? I'm going in the house, okay? Because one of my partners, man, one of my partners' uncles got killed putting his trash out, man. Putting his trash out. The cops want to give him a hard time. They think you know, he was dead. No, man. It's two o'clock. It's two thirty in the morning. We ain't got nothing to talk about. You ain't put up no radio. You ain't ran nothing. You you followed me home. You see, I went and put my I pulled up in the drive when I got keys. Nah, man, nah, nah. You figured that one out, okay? I wouldn't get one house when they went to bed. You know, you you ran my when you when you did run my shit. You know, I had no warrants. That was my house. Why are you fucking with me? Okay, and that's one of the beautiful things of being a little older. No, that might not fly for 22, okay? That might not fly for 22. But again, man, uh, with all the things that we experience in the street, nobody nobody really speaks on that but Farrakhan, you know? And, and speaking on that and making people aware of that, 
could be people can find it very um, can find it very dangerous. dangerous. Okay. Uh, a young lady was on Facebook today. And she was she was talking about the same subject, and uh, she said when, when Nipsey Hussle at his service, uh, Farrakhan came up with like two or three hundred uh, FOI. Well, well dressed, well mannered, well organized, and that's the danger that they see. Somebody that can get that many black folks to not be ignorant and dress and yeah. you know, and it's the same thing when you see you see that movie um, X, with, or Malcolm X, oh, Malcolm. Malcolm X with Denzel, with Denzel. and uh, Denzel does a sign, you know, and yeah. and, and, the, and the cops like that's too much power for one man to have. Because if you got them kind of cats together, man, it's really hard. If they really are disciplined, it's hard to trap them into a into an incident. Because a lot of times, the the, the the shit jump off when the brother gets emotional, okay? And that's when they got you. When you get emotional, get upset. Now they got you. They, now, now you playing. You're, you're angry. You're hostile. And you resisting the rest. You you could be turning around and the whole time stop resisting, stop resisting. I got my hands behind my back, motherfucker. What you mean, do? But on on their recorder, that stop resisting, stop resisting. Okay, right. stop resisting. I man, what are you talking about? I'm not resisting. I turned around. You had told me to turn around. I turned around. But he's talking to a recorder. All every time you get stopped by the cop, they're recording your conversation. Every time, audio at least. Okay, and I remember I got stopped, stopped by a cop, and I fought this. T- I drug this ticket almost, almost 18 months. We finally went to court. This motherfucker said everything. I, How the fuck you know what the fuck? Oh, you're recording that shit. Okay, everything I said, he read it back. To, he, 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 it was in the transcript. He read it back to me word for word, and it cost me $500. <laughs> I tried to, I tried my best to drag this motherfucker out, and make him miss a day at work. He nah, fuck it, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there. He was a motorcycle cop too. Like it was raining that day, so now I don't want to be out here no fucking way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Doc, that's real talk, man. No, no, that's, that's why there's that emotional situation. You know, I, I, my my question was always been, how is it that you fear for your life? You got a belt full of shit. You got a, I'm barehanded. You trained. You got a gun, baton. Pepper spray, tasers, a throwaway pistol, handcuffs. I'm sitting in the car. You scared? How the fuck did that happen? And it, my question, my next question is: At what point in time do I get to fear for my life? As a man, okay. You know, you you know, you got. Do I have the right to fear for my life as well? I don't know what's on your mind, man. You know, once I'm once I'm subdued, once I'm once I'm handcuffed. I don't know what's on your mind. That's, that's what's that's okay. What's you know, you know, I ain't got to say nothing. You know, all of a sudden you get an attitude. You want to, you want to show off whatever case you now become a victim. And you, then you're going to lie like a motherfucker. And I didn't, well, they didn't lie to me a couple of times. Man, come on. Oh, I've not always been a very, very outstanding citizen. I don't like bragging about that stuff by no means, but I had to tell stories because when I tell these stories, this shit is real, dude. This, this ain't no new shit. They just got it on camera now. I, I think I might have told the story, but if I didn't, you know, I'm going to tell it to you anyway. I was hanging out one night with a lady friend of mine, and we were on a dark street. Why we were there, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to discuss why we was on the dark ass street. Okay. Lady, no, she was a lady. She was a friend. She was a friend. We were sitting there talking, and the cops pulled up. And I had a gun. In the briefcase, okay, and and I was at, and I was at, and, I, and I had my club. I always carried a gun, carried two, okay, and I had one. I had my gun in the briefcase. I had a hatchback. It was RX7. I had a hatchback, so I had my briefcase in the back. But there's no trunk on RX7, so I locked my gun in my briefcase. I locked my bullets in the glove compartment. Cop pulled me over. What's in the briefcase? Nothing. Open it up. You got the search warrant? I, now, it's a dark street. 
it's a dark street. And I'm like, do I need one? Nah. So I opened the motherfucker up. And there the gun was. No bullets. No, no nothing. Okay. What the bullets at? I ain't got no bullets. I'm lying like a motherfucker. I ain't got no bullets. What the bullets at? I ain't got no bullets. Now he ain't got nothing on me. Of course, my car fit the description. Allegedly, uh, 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 280Z was in a robbery. And it was blue. And my car was black. So therefore, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, it was 11.30 at night. Because I went to jail. It just it just became Monday morning when I got picked up. I got picked like they booked me at one something in the morning from a Sunday. Anyway, um, the cops broke open my glove compartment and took the gun and the bullets, put them in the gun, and chambered it. Okay. Handcuffed me and took me to jail. Okay. And in the report, he said I had the gun in my lap. And it, it was a suspicious a call about a robbery. And I had the gun in my lap. I said, if I had the gun in my lap where I was, I did have found my, it, this would not be a, this would be a dead man report. This would not be a arrest, okay? I, they approached the car, I had the gun in my lap, blah, blah, okay? Come on, man, that's bullshit. Now, two things happened that day, okay? One, I got arrested. But I didn't tell y'all what happened to me today about three days prior. Uh, I had a stomach issue. And I, me and beef ain't never got along, but I like burgers anyway. And I took about four x lax Friday. They didn't kick in Saturday. They didn't kick in Sunday. They kicked in when I got to motherfucking jail. They kicked in and I got to jail. The, it, this x lax kicked in in jail. <laughs> I'm in jail for the first time. Well, it's the first time I ever got arrested. Now, I, I went to the holding tank once before for some bullshit. But I'm in jail now. I'm in, I'm in Linwood jail. And I I got the bubble guts. And I got to go. And in jail ain't no privacy. Okay? It's a toilet and people watching you take a shit. I don't know jail etiquette at all. I have no idea what jail etiquette is. I go down there and I'm letting it fly, okay? Motherfuckers, man, goddamn, goddamn, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, it's, it's, it's late, okay? I'm waking motherfuckers up. It's two, it's like, by the time it's two o'clock in the morning, okay? Niggas is, what the fuck is this? They're waking up to the smell of shit, right? And motherfuckers, somebody hollered out, Drop one, flush one! Drop one!
handcuff me to this motherfucker going through some withdrawal and shit. I'm trying to explain to the deputy, hey man, I got an OR. Fuck you. Get in line. Next thing I know, we're going to the county. We in the fucking county. I'm in the county. I got an OR. What the fuck is going on? Why? Why I got to deal with it? You just talk, start talking to the other guys in the bus. Well, hey man, you know, sometimes they release you from the county, even though you, you know, Got, you got picked up in Linwood. They, they got to process you out. Okay, cool. Cool. I get to, we get to the county about 10 o'clock at night. They got to pick it. It's like Greyhound. They picking up motherfuckers everywhere. <laughs> get, get there by 10 o'clock. And about 10.30, I ain't been asleep yet. Okay. This brother coming from, the, from, from, uh, from, from uh, prison. Big buff dude. Talking shit to the deputies. Shit to the deputies. Talking shit to the deputies. They took this motherfucker into a room, man. All you heard was, oh, 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 ah, bam, boom, bam, bam. Oh, bam, bam. This motherfucker came out. This motherfucker, he, he, didn't have a, he didn't have a lump on him. He was whimpering. He fucked this dude up. He, he had a scar on him. This ain't the place for lying to him. About an hour later, they gave me the sandwich. Dry ass sandwich and an orange. And an orange. They gave me that gave my shit away. Yeah, nigga, they asked me no cornbread. They gave me no cornbread. And uh, I had a jerry curl there. They de loused my ass. This shit fucked up my shit, man. All my hair was dry <laughs> the motherfucker. It was horrible, dude. Put you in another room. And it's supposed to be, it's like a, it's like a big turnstile. This is a long, I don't, know, I don't know what it looked like. I ain't been back. Fuck them motherfuckers. I mean, it was a turnstile, and they, they, they put, put you in, and as they release you, they, you know, you go out this other door. Well, man, they put me in this little, little release room, and about five batches of motherfuckers and came and gone. I'm still sitting here, okay? And I'm like, it's three, four o'clock in the morning now, okay? I'm scared, because this is right around the same time me and this cop has been getting into it, Okay? Right around the same time, they found Ron Settles hung in uh, Signal Hill. This had to be in the 80s, man. In the, in the early 80s. Ron, Ron Settles was a uh, cat out of Signal Hill. They found him hung in the cell in, yeah, in Signal Hill. And uh, me and this cop have been having issues. And I'm in his I'm in his home home court now. I don't know who he done called, what he done done. I don't know. I'm scared. Dude, I'm, I'm negro. I want to go home. Okay? And they had four, five batches of cats come in. And walk out, and I'm still sitting there. One of the deputies asked me, "Oh, I'm, oh the, uh, what, what, you know, asked me what to see my OR." And I, 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 I wasn't in jail. As soon as they gave me the shower and the sandwich, they called me to the release room. Okay, so I, 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 I was in, I was eligible for release at 12 o'clock. It's four something now, and I still ain't been released yet. Okay, now this is Monday going on Tuesday. Okay, this is going to jail Sunday, Monday, go to court Monday morning. It's Tuesday now, okay? And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. I don't, I don't know who to talk to. They're going to talk to you in jail. Everybody's a motherfucker coming on. Fuck you, ain't my problem, okay? True fucking story, true fucking story. And one cop was cool. He says, hey, man, you've been here for a long time. What's the problem? I don't know. All I know is I'm waiting he said, we can't find your clothes. That's what he, he said, we can't find your clothes. Oh, shit. Now, nah, I'm really scared. I'm going to head on with a T-shirt and a pair of jeans. You can't find a T-shirt. Let me tell you what you do. Give me, I'll buy this orange jumpsuit. I don't give a fuck, okay? I will, how much is what, how much the jumpsuit cost, okay? <laughs> I had money in my briefcase. I had a, 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 about four or five hundred bucks in my briefcase. How much a jumpsuit? I will buy one of these motherfuckers. I'm ready to go, okay? <laughs> he said, no, nah, you can't buy a jumpsuit. They take me over to the laundry. This is, I swear to God, take me to the laundry. I'm sitting on the bench, and somebody says, Lonzo! Behind the counter of the laundry was one of my partners that ran with us in the Charismic Vega Car Club. He, ran, he was in the laundry. He was, he was a civilian that worked in the laundry. I said, Lonzo, what you doing? And I get, now here, here's why I fucked up. He called my name, Neckbone, what's up? I get my ass up. Where the fuck you going? Man, I don't know jail etiquette. 
I don't know about this shit. I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get pro, pro, proficient in this shit. I just want to go home. Sit your black ass back down. I'll fuck you up. Okay, hey, man. So neck bone, deputy, you know, it's a procedure. Yeah. Did you bring inmate Williams to the counter? And I said, he said, what's the problem? I said, what's, he said, what's going on, man? I said, man, I, I got here Sunday night. He said, they can't find my clothes. I've been here for almost a whole two days now. They can't find my clothes. What you have? I had, I had a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And sure enough, he looked at my number and he saw, he, he went through the sequence and saw where my shit was, was supposed to be. And then somebody had turned my t-shirt inside out with the number inside. That's why they couldn't find it. Gave me my clothes. My boy! My boy, my boy, got got my found my clothes right now. It's time to go, nigga. It's time to go. I'm finna get the fuck up out of here. We walking down the, yeah. you know, they got lines in the in the middle of the uh, hallway, but you gotta walk on the on the on the wall. Turn it to the wall, and I knew I'm I'm there and skipping out this motherfucker. <laughs> Turn it to the wall, and a little motherfucker got motherfucker. Get your black ass to the goddamn wall. Fuck, fuck you up, hey man. Get to the wall, dude. Hey man, the deputy, hey man, he don't know nothing about this right here. This young kid don't know about this right here. You know, give him a break, please. Give him a break. And then, this is my fucking friend that you get, get. He was finna get with me. Okay? Dude, I'm just ready. I'm just happy to get my get my t-shirt and my jeans. Get the fuck up out of here. So now we walk out to the motherfucking to the room. And it's the police room. Now my last name is Good. Listen, here's some shit, man. I tell this part of the story right here. Niggas think I'm lying. There's two more parts of the story. You gonna swear I'm lying, but I'm not lying. It was a homeless dude, African dude, man of arms. This motherfucker had been shitting on himself for days. His last name was like Wakanabi or Waka something. It was W though! It was a W! This motherfucker had pants full of shit and piss. Pants, we, we right next to each other. Okay? He can't do nothing. He ain't got no arms. Nobody want to fuck with him. And he was a little touched in the head. And we sit next to him. I can't remember. Man, and I couldn't even move. I'm already scared from this last motherfucker that ran to put my ass. So I'm scared to move. I'm sitting next to shitty man. Okay, he got a diaper full of... He's loaded. Okay? <laughs> I didn't think about that one. This motherfucker's jaws is loaded. Okay? So finally, everybody go. And once again, once again, I ain't going nowhere. The whole room is gone. Even shitty pants is gone. Shitty pants is gone. Everybody gone. I'm still sitting there. And they said the following inmates, you you uh you are remods. What the fuck is a remod? That means you go back to the system. What the fuck you mean go back? Nah, I'm, dude. Now I'm fucking terrified. Dude, you have lost my clothes. Sit me next to Mr. Shitty. Okay. And now you have I'm gonna be a remod? Dude, I am nah, nah, I know this motherfucker keep nah, they trying to kill, they trying to kill my ass now. They want me. Okay. And the only thing say, my but I'm gonna tell you this part, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's another true part that motherfuckers will find difficult to believe, but I have a reason to lie. I'm sitting there on the fucking about to get re put back through the system. And they was changing shifts it's like six or seven o'clock in the morning, six. 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. They got some fresh deputies coming in. Okay? They changing shifts. Because the motherfuckers I'm dealing with at first and don't want to hear nothing. They don't want to tell me what a remod is. Fuck you. You ain't my problem. Get your back to chat over there. Shut the fuck up. They change deputies. Okay? I saw this, de- this one deputy. Um, he had on a mason hip. And I had been studying masonry. And I... Hey... Right? I said, nah. I said, I can't find my clothes. I said, they, they said I'm a remod. What's your name? I told him my name. He says, oh, he said, let me go look. And he went and looked and found out they had a, I had a warrant. I didn't know I had. He says, man, you got, you, you got a warrant? For what? I got a warrant. I've been there for two days. Anybody took my no fucking warrant? This warrant is why I never got to leave jail the first time. The, the, the warrant superseded the fucking OR. And nobody told me what the warrant was for. He said you got a warrant for FG. What the fuck is FG? He had to go grab the book. Fishing game. 
Huh? Well, me and my brother and my cousin and we're fishing at El Dorado Park. And we didn't have no fishing license. My brother, it was his birthday. My cousin had a broke leg. And the, and the cop, instead of giving us all three a ticket, he gave me one ticket for thirty dollars. Said y'all can break it up to ten, ten, ten dollars a piece. And, and with thirty fucking dollars, he said, "You have any money in your books?" I said, "Yeah, I got a pocket full of money." He says, "Okay, cool." He went there, verified I had money in my books, and that's how I got the fuck out of jail. One cool cop got me, helped me get through all that shit. That's a true fucking story from the archives of Lonzo Williams. Okay, true story. And after that, they kiss my ass. Fuck y'all. Dude, I stopped by Carson one night, but that was, that was, I was out of that motherfucker before, before they got the key turned good. <laughs> before the door slammed, I was out that motherfucker already, okay? But yeah, Doc, that's, and that's some true shit, dude. And I tell cats, man, I said, you know, you know, I, I've had an interesting, I, I live an interesting life. I can't I have. I, I, I've done a lot of crazy shit. I've been involved in a lot of crazy shit. And I have a, I have a crazy, uh, Attention for stupid shit, okay? And but I learned very fast, okay? I learned very fast, you know, from the time me and Billy T was out there in Inglewood to this time right here, dude. I'm like, man, y'all kiss this is some bullshit. And and, and the mentality of the motherfuckers in there, like, what, what you got? Oh, nigga, I, I think I'm doing. I'm, 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 I might get 15. If I get, if they give me a deal for 15, I'm gonna take it. Are you really? <laughs> If they give me a deal for five or anything less than ten, nigga, I'm, I'm jumping all over that. Okay, okay, cool, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, man, but all that right there, and, you know, like I said, when you're dealing with the police, and I got to bring all the state, we're bringing it all the way back again, we're bringing the police, and these are the kind of situations that people encounter. And like I said before, I do, if he had to open my briefcase, I never would have that happened. My life, my rights was violated. Now, what really was beautiful, the beautiful part about it was I, t- I hired a lawyer. Cost me $1,500. And they threw everything out. Because there was a legal search. Okay. So they didn't see you like they, the, the, the lawyer took a picture of my, of my glove compartment. So, so I was broken open. Hey, man, this guy. This, he, he took his knife. He took his knife and popped my my shit. Won't, my shit would never close again. He broke the lock on my shit. Okay, he broke the. I had to buy a new lock after the situation to get to my locks. My uh, glove compartment would uh would lock again. Yeah.
cops had me labeled as being armed. Every time they looking for my gun. Okay? They looking for my gun. They looking and when you when you once you get that on you, it's part hey, that that, that booger, that motherfucker, hey, and he you know, sticking on the carry gun. Woo! Where the gun at? I ain't got no gun. You lying, where you gun at? Nope. I know motherfucker. No, no. You gotta go to the house to find that motherfucker. They, they, I have, I, I, according to my, according to my folks, yes, there's indication that he's been known to be uh, carry drugs or guns. They, they, they have, they know, they know what kind of cat you are when you pull it. You know, if, if you've been gang, if you've been arrested for gang shit, it's on you. It's, it's on that. It's on the. It's on the computer. Okay. And, that, and a lot of that determines how they're gonna deal with you. Okay. Right. You know, if they know you known for carrying guns, they might come out with their shit in their hand. Right, hey, man, brother, where your shit at? I got mine. I, mean, I know you supposed to have one, okay? And that's, and that's what they do, okay? Shit, I got about 40. <laughs> I got a, well, you know, actually, actually truthfully, um, I learned, I learned, um, I learned the hard way. And because it got so bad at one time, man, the cop that would give me the hassle, the eve after dark, and he knew where I lived at. So he would he would fuck with me on Friday and Saturday, and he would fuck with me during the week. And it got to the point, man, I'd have to sneak home. Literally, I'd, I'd have to sneak home. Because if I came down to El Segundo or San Pedro, he was anywhere in the vicinity. Plus, at that time, my my, my homies was busy as fuck it was in the in the gang. The gang was the gang was just starting to pop off. Dope game, yeah. It was just on the pop off, and he indicated he thought I was a ring a ringleader. I got a club. I'm older. I got a club. I'm not. I'm not in the shit. They can't. They never caught me into anything, but because everybody around me was doing shit, and they, and they all we all partied together. We grew up together. We just made different choices. Okay, but you can't tell that white dude that I wasn't involved or had something to do with it. Okay. And it wasn't, and when we shut the Eve down, because of him, we shut the Eve down the first time. Time, man, and uh, one of the cops, you know, he might, he, he might, he, he, he might want to hire you one day, he might want to chill out, okay? That kind of shit. And come up Main Street, go on Central to 120th, and come down Main Street, because of the cop on fire. And sometimes he'd be in my neighborhood waiting. Anywhere in the city or county, if you think about this and you realize I'm telling the truth, you'll never hear a jukebox at Dinkers. And this is over 24 hours. You'll never hear a jukebox at Dinkers. Because they're an ordinance. You can't have any jukeboxes, bands, or live entertainment past 2 o'clock. Most Jenny Denny's don't have jukeboxes anyway. But most venues, but because DJ. in the book. We look, we ask. And they, you know, everybody shrugged their shoulders. We, and we're not a lot, we're we not, we not a jukebox, we're not live entertainment, we're not a band. And everybody looked at us and said, I don't know. And we did. We wore their asses out. And that motherfucker went on his day off and had that ordinance amended to include the DJ. Came up to the club with a whole crew of motherfuckers. Sheriffs give me a ticket, and this dude, this 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 is why I say all cops ain't bad cops. All cops ain't bad cops. It was a young cat, and he says this this this, this guy was a sergeant that was giving me a hard time. And he was like, man, I'll give him a ticket for so and so. He said, I'm not writing this guy another ticket. I'm not doing it. We fuck with this guy every week. He does shit. You fuck with this guy every week. Well, you know, I'm going to write you for insubordination. Let's take it to the lieutenant then. Because this is getting ridiculous. Okay? The motherfucker stood up for me, man. The dude stood up for me, man. No bullshit. The, the young cop like, dude, no, nah, man. I'm not writing this guy a ticket. Okay? I'm not, doing, I'm not doing that. You keep on harassing this guy, and you want me to keep on putting this shit on my fucking record. Cause he couldn't do it. He'd already been, been writing me and got complaints and shit. Okay? No, I'm not, I'm not fucking up my jacket fucking with this guy. 
He hadn't done shit. It's 145. We told him to close, close the club down. He turned the shit off. What you going to do? Okay. And that was like the last night. That was like right, right after that, we shut it down. Cold game, dude. I think so. Like, subscribe, follow. Check out my book on my website or on my website, LonzoWilliams.com. N-W-A, not without Alonzo. Also, uh, it's available on Amazon. If you go to my website, I can sign your autographed copy. Also, I'm working on some new stuff, folks. Check this out. I got a comic book. Me, Dre, and Yellow on the cover of a hip-hop family tree comic book. It will be on sale on my website shortly. Look for it. It's, it's, it's pretty damn dope. It's going to be a collector's item. I bought all of them. Ain't <laughs> nobody got them but me. <laughs> Peace, folks.